hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make guyanese beef and cheese pinwheel to get started we'll start by making the dough first so here i have some all-purpose flour some milk i'll be using yeast melted butter and some sugar now we'll add all of the ingredients to the flour and we'll mix until we form a nice soft dough then we will knead the dough for about 5 minutes until it is nice and smooth. Once the dough is smooth, we'll go ahead and place it in our mixing bowl, cover and allow it to rise until it doubles in size. While the dough is rising, we'll go ahead and make our filling for our pinwheel using some ground beef. I'll be using some cheese. This is Gouda cheese, by the way. You can use whatever cheese you like. And I have some garlic, some onions. I'll be using some thyme, uh, green seasoning, green onions, bell peppers. I have some browning sauce, ketchup. I'll be using some black pepper. Uh, chicken bouillon complete seasoning and all-purpose seasoning in a medium-sized pot I'll go ahead and add my ground beef and I will let this cook until it release all the juices and the oils because I want to drain the oil before I start seasoning my ground beef As you can see, the ground beef has released a lot of oil. So what I'll do is go ahead and drain that oil off and I'll keep some of it to cook my vegetables. Now we'll season our ground beef, adding our green seasoning and the powdered seasonings. We will mix well, then we'll add our garlic, onions, peppers, thyme and we will allow them all to go for about three minutes. So at this point, we will now add my favorite brown braising sauce. You can add whatever brown sauce you have at hand or whichever one you prefer. We will also add the ketchup here and this will all add sweetness and color to the dish. We will let these all go for about 5 minutes allowing everything to marry and let that meat absorb the flavors. Lastly, we will add our green onions, give it a good stir, and we will set this aside, allowing it to cool down completely before we get started with the next step. So here I have a nine by 13 baking dish. I did grease the bottom and I'll be using a rolling pin. Now my dough has doubled in size and what we'll go ahead and do is flatten the dough out and we will roll it into our desired length and shape. 
I want mine about a quarter of an inch thick because I don't like my pinwheel super bready. I don't like that bready bready effect when you're eating pinwheel. My biggest pet peeve is having a pinwheel that's a lot of bread and less meat. So I always vow that when I am making my own pinwheels, I will put a lot of meat and less bread. So that's how I make mine. We will roll this out into a quarter of an inch thick and into a square shape. Next, we'll go ahead and add our ground beef filling to the dough. We will add all of it and then we will spread it out evenly in the middle of the dough, leaving the borders around the edges, you know, without the filling. You don't want to fill it all the way through, just in the middle. And what we'll do is add some cheese, not a lot, just a little bit. Or add as much as you like, because you know, different people like different things. I don't like too much of cheese in mine, but you know, you can add as much as you like. And then we will roll it up into a nice, you know, wheel, as they say. It's like a wheel, you roll in it up into a, a round wheel shape. So once you're done completing that step and we have our pinwheel all rolled up, I will cut my pinwheel using some dental floss. This is a new one that I use for these kinds of purposes, kitchen purposes. I keep it in my kitchen drawer. It is easier to cut the pinwheel without squishing it using this. So that's why I use that instead of using a knife. But if you don't have this or you don't want to use it, you can just go ahead and use a knife. And we will cut them into our desired sizes, whatever size you like yours in. You cut it out and place it into your baking dish. Super simple and easy. So as you can see, I am trying to cover my pinwheel with some plastic wrap because you don't want to leave them open because, you know, they will form like a skin on the dough and you don't want that. You want to cover it up and we will allow this to rise for about 30 minutes. Then we'll place it inside of the oven. Once the 30 minutes is up, we'll place this in a 350 degree oven for about, let's say 30 minutes, or at least until they become golden brown. After about 35 minutes, my pinwheels are finally done. And what you see me doing here is brushing some melted butter over top of the pinwheels that will soften them up and give them a nice sheen. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and squeeze some ketchup over top of these. The ketchup is one of the main ingredients and it, you know, it kind of makes the pinwheel. So once we finish with the ketchup, we will place some fresh cheese on top of the pinwheels. You wanna do this when the, the pinwheels are hot because the, you want the cheese partially melted but not all the way through. So we'll put our uh, ketchup, then our cheese, and that's it. It's super simple to make this, but you know, it takes a little time. So this is how I make a super delicious Guyanese beef and cheese pinwheel. It is so delicious and you know I cannot go without showing you guys the inside of the pinwheel, how soft and meaty it is. This is how I like my pinwheel guys. I do not like a pinwheel that's full of bread. This is the way I like mine. But if you like yours bready, you can roll your dough a little bit more thicker. Roll it about to an inch thick so that you get a more bready effect and less meat. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be leaving all the ingredients and the measurements down in my description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy.